let's see the problems on pumping lemma. Uh, show that L equals 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n for all n greater than or equal to 0 is not regular. So, for us to apply pumping lemma and solve the problems, first we need to show that the length of the string is greater than or equal to the number of states. Okay, if length, if omega is any string or if w is any string, length of w should be greater than or equal to n, which is the number of states. Only then pumping lemma can be applied. So, let l is regular and n be the number of states in a, a is the automata. Consider the string w equal to 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n. So, let us consider the string. What is the length of the string? Length of the string is n plus n which is 2n. Length of w is 2n. That is length of w is greater than or equal to n. So, what is the condition required for uh, pumping lemma to be applied is length of w is greater than or equal to n. If this condition does not hold, we can immediately say pumping lemma cannot be applied. If this condition holds, only then we can proceed with solving the problem. Now, so we can split w into three parts, x, y, z, such that what is the condition? Condition number one, length of x, y is less than or equal to n and length of y is greater than or equal to 1. So, what did we see in the theorem? y not equal to epsilon. It means length of the string y should be greater than or equal to 1. One input I would like to give is always keep the length of y as 1 because we will be rising to y rise to k. So, when we have to rise to the power, then it is always good to keep y as 1. Okay. So, that is a small input. Now, so let us expand this string 0 rise to n, 1 rise to n and write it like this. So, w equal to n number of zeros followed by n number of 1s. Now, I will take y at the last 0, nth 0. So, this is y. What is length of x? x is, see this total number of zeros, we have n number of zeros. I am considering the last 0 as y. So, length of x would be n minus 1. So, there are n minus 1, the length of x is n minus 1. So, length of x is n minus 1, length of y is 1. We need to find out length of x, y. So, length of x, y is length of x plus length of y, which is n minus 1 plus 1, which would be n. So, the condition holds length of x, y is less than or equal to n. So, that condition holds. And y we have kept it as 1. So, that condition also holds. Now, come to the third condition. According to pumping lemma, x, y rise to k, z belongs to L for k equal to 0, 1, 2, so on. So, now we will go on giving the values for k and whatever new string we get, we should see to it that whether that belongs to L. If that belongs to L, we will say it would be regular. So, now we will give the value for k. If k equal to 0, see y rise to y is here. This is y. So, if k equal to 0, this y does not appear. If k equal to 0, y does not appear. Number of zeros will be less than number of 1s. So, similarly, if k equals 2, 3, 4, so on, what happens? Here, number of k equal to 2 means I will get 2 zeros. k equal to 3, I will get 3 zeros. k equal to 4, I will get 4 zeros. So, when k equal to 2, 3, 4 and all, number of zeros will be greater than 
number of ones. Similarly, if k equal to 2, 3, 4, number of zeros will be greater than number of ones. But according to pumping lemma, n number of zeros should be followed by n number of ones. That is the question. 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n. Equal number of zeros should be followed by equal number of ones. But here what is happening? It is not happening. Either the number of zeros are less or the number of zeros are more. So, which is a contradiction to the assumption that the string is regular. Therefore, the language L equal to 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n for all n greater than or equal to 0 is not regular. So, this is one problem on pumping lemma.